Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and today is going to be a plan with me from Monday, April the 5th through Sunday, April the 11th. So this is the first full week of April. Let's take a look back at last week. And this was a planner cake kit called Easter Bunny. Absolutely adored this week's spread. It was so cute. And I mentioned in my last, um, I think my last plan with me that I had forgotten to order the deco sheet. It came in Saturday. So I was able to put a few decorative touches on here. A little Easter basket and coffee cup and a couple of other things. So I was very excited that that came in. But this ended up being such a cute kit. And I love how this week turned out. Hoping everyone had a great Easter. This week will be another planner cake kit. And it is called Lavender Fields. This is kit number 318. So I have the sampler sheet, the individual date headers already filled out, thin washi, and many event labels. I'll go ahead and start as always at the top here with my washi. I did go ahead and white out the month font as well as the mini calendar because the full box on this um, sampler is pretty light colored and I'm not sure that it would have covered the calendar print or not so I just went ahead and whited it out I am filming this on Monday the 5th so I'm a little bit behind but I wanted to enjoy some family time yesterday since it was Easter um, and I figured I could get this out since it's my daughter's spring break I have more free time today to film this so I wanted to go ahead and get this filmed Excuse me if I'm sniffling it the pollen right now is unreal My husband had our dog Coco outside earlier and he said a bird landed in one of the trees behind our house and This big plume of yellow He said it looked like smoke came out of the tree That's how bad our pollen is right now. We have all pine trees behind us and it's just terrible right now Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is the thin washi, date headers, meal planning boxes, and tracking the weather. Alright, I have meal tracking boxes, date headers, thin washi, and weather down for the first three days of this week. So I'm going to go ahead and move to my bottom bar here. And we'll start with this full box. Beautiful floral box. We're going to put that down here. And I'm going to take my This Week script sticker. And I've said it before, I'm a sucker for anything gingham or checkered. So cute. So that's going to go here. And then I'm going to get my weekend script sticker put down. You guys thought I'd forget, didn't you? Not today. I've had some sleep and some coffee. So let's go ahead and get started with the week. I think 
one of the first things I want to do is to somehow notate that this is spring break and I think this little floral box here is going to be perfect. I'm going to take the no school sticker on the sampler sheet and I want to put that down here and then I'll write spring break in that box. I think I like that. So because of that, Emma does not have her tennis sessions this week. I try to have all my stickers out ahead of time, but I forgot to pull this one. I need to give our dog his monthly flea and tick preventative. So this is a planner Kate sheet number S845. So I need to put that down as a reminder to do that today. I think I'm going to go with just gray so that it'll go with everything. I'm going to put that kind of in the middle here. Today is going to be a grocery day. I've got to go to pick up some stuff for the week. And I think actually we are doing some, the weather is so nice this week. I think we're going to do some grilled burgers tonight. So I'm going to take this little planter cake icon and put that. Let's actually move it down here a little bit. Cute little grill. And then tomorrow will be, I'm going to go ahead and say tomorrow is going to be a good laundry day for me. Because we don't really have much of anything going on this week and that's the way that I planned it. I did not want to have to go a bunch of different places this week. So I'll probably get laundry taken care of tomorrow. Wednesday is Planner Kate's June releases. She releases her June kits in her shop on Etsy. So I want to be sure to put a reminder for that. And then I'm going to put this box down here. I need to work desperately on our budget. Um, I am actually behind. I did not get around to it last week. And that's something I want to try to keep up with, especially towards the end of a month. So I actually need to go back and look over March and kind of see where we stand as far as where we need to start cutting back and that kind of thing. So I've got to get that done this week. And as always, my little money doodle girl is going to make the job a little more fun. Let's move the script sticker over just a little bit. Alright. So that's what's going on Wednesday. Nothing yet for Thursday. Friday is my husband's payday. So I'm going to take the payday script sticker Put that up here. It is also my mom's birthday. So I'm going to take this floral box here. And I'm going to take the happy birthday sticker off of the mini event label sheet. Saturday will be my planner time. 
And then I also need to do my Sunday reset because school will be resuming on Monday. I think trash day is probably going to be Thursday as it normally is. And I believe at this point that is pretty much all I have for the week so far. When things come up, I will get it filled in. Um, the last thing I'm going to do for this plan with me is change the cover. This is the cover I had on for the week of Easter. And I'm going to change it to my new cover. I showed this in my um, Erin Condren haul. This is a design by The Gold Project on Etsy. And I explained a little bit about that. I'm not going to really go into much. If you need to watch that, then I will link the Erin um, Condren haul that I've purchase this cover but this was called April Showers again this is a gold project design and I had the cover done through Erin Condren to fit my planner I'm gonna go ahead and get this on and I will be back I have my cover switched and I think it's absolutely adorable especially with these gray tabs it's so cute and one last look at how this week turned out I think I'm gonna enjoy this kit I love purple so I will really like the way that this kit will turn out again it will fill in more as the week goes along if you have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comments below as always, thank you so much for joining me. Please check out my Facebook page. I will leave the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed a little me time, and I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Bye.